President Barack Obama is by far Hartmark's most famous client. They're a suit company. Now, Hartmark filed for bankruptcy, and Wells Fargo, which was their banker, said, well, we want to do what we have a contractual right to do, and that is, well, sell some of your assets so we can get some money back. Well, it doesn't appear to be happening that way. The employees teaming up with Illinois State Treasurer still fighting. Could they be hurting Illinois' economy in the long run? putting economics down in the advantage of politics. Joining us now, the Illinois State Treasurer, Alexi Giannoulis, and Bob McTeer, a former Federal Reserve Board member and CNC, CNBC contributor. And it's a pleasure to have both of you with us. We appreciate it. Um, Alexi, let me begin with you. Uh, obviously, uh, we have this story, and I know a couple of other examples people are giving of, of where uh, the, the, the state of Illinois is, is saying, hold on, not so fast with these bankruptcies, and telling the banks uh, that they have to wait before they can go ahead and sell some of the assets. Uh, what's the reasoning behind this? Well, let me start by saying thank you for having me on the show. Hardmarks uh, is an Illinois-based company that has been around for over 120 years. And we have uh, a th about a thousand jobs here in Illinois uh, that we have an opportunity to keep. And we have made it very simple. There's an opportunity here, uh, based on what happens in bankruptcy court, uh, for Wells Fargo to do the right thing. And if they're going to be getting $25 billion in TARP money, which is fine, if they're going to be the state of Illinois' uh, custodian banker, that's fine, too. We actually have uh, a good relationship with them in the state treasurer's office. All we're asking mm -hmm. uh, is that they do everything they can to make sure that this company uh, stays open. These are a 1,000 workers who have done everything they've been told to do for a number of years. So we're not trying to be confrontational or politicize it. What we're trying to do is mm -hmm. let them know if they're going to be getting state and federal taxpayer dollars, we expect them uh, to protect these jobs and protect this company. So you're saying Wells Fargo is getting the, sta the taxpayer dollars, right? Correct. But here's the thing. I mean, I mean, you, you, you know this as well as anyone else, right? I mean, if, if you're going to do this with all any companies in trouble, then Wells Fargo can't get money. Then they get even weaker and they need more government money. I mean, the, in a sense, if everyone was doing what you were doing across the country, that bank would cease to function, wouldn't it? Well, here, here's why, here's why uh, I disagree. We are talking about a specific instance here where we have an opportunity there, there are uh, three bidders. Two of the uh, three bidders have said they have every intention uh, to keep this company alive and kicking. And I would make the argument, the strong argument, that uh, a thousand uh, good-paying jobs here in Illinois will help the economy more than a liquidation. So I would make the opposite argument. We're not saying every. We're not saying that we have the ability to uh, to make sure that no plants and no companies go under. I'm not unrealistic. Nor are we putting undue pressure. Uh, on Wells Fargo. I, Fargo. I used to be a community banker. I understand how it works. Mm -hmm. But with this opportunity, it's unique and it's even different than the Republic Windows, which was here in Chicago uh, a few months back. This is a situation where we think we can have a tangible impact on making sure we, we help these people keep their jobs. Right. And, and Bob McTeer, Republic Windows, I know you're probably familiar with it. Another one where the employees were sort of staging a sit-in uh, to try to prevent the company from filing uh, for bankruptcy. Does he convince you, Bob? Well, uh, I'm sympathetic to his goal of uh, preserving those jobs, but I think a better approach would be for the unions to make some concessions with the, the new owners so that it's profitable to keep those jobs there. Making these decisions based on politics and based on coercion and threats uh, of taking business away from a bank is, is, is going to hurt the state of Illinois in the future. It's going to harm its uh, reputation for being business friendly. And at the margin, there will be companies uh, deciding where to locate that won't locate there because of actions like this. Alexi, what do you say to that? That certainly can't be what you want, is it? Well, with all due respect to Bob, who I know is an incredibly intelligent uh, uh, guy, I will tell you that, again, this situation uh, is different than most. We are not saying uh, keep this place open, we want them to lose money. We're saying we have three bidders, a bids that are very similar. Uh, two out of these three bids will make sure we keep these jobs. And I'm sure Bob will agree that uh, if you have an opportunity to create a thousand jobs and keep a 120-year uh, company going uh, without uh, Wells Fargo or any other creditor, uh, taking a big loss, it's the right move to make. We're not being unreasonable. We're not being political. We're trying to be practical and saying, listen, okay. if you are going to be receiving state and federal taxpayer dollars, just do the right thing. Bob, what happens, though, if every uh, state treasurer across the country uh, with certain companies that they you know, had, a, had a certain affinity for did what Alexi's doing? Well, I'm afraid our banking system would look a little bit more like China's than it does our own. Oh, well, Alexi, that's a horrible thing. I didn't hear yeah, what, that I'm sorry, I didn't hear what you said, Bob. 
I said it would it would be a move uh, toward the Chinese banking system taking uh, taking their cue from the government. I'm sure that if uh, if it's a good business decision, Wells will have and uh, keep in mind the. Uh, the welfare of the workers. It's just that threats to take the state business away from Wells if, if it doesn't come out the way you want, uh, I think is inappropriate and will do you harm in the long run. See, my, my concern, I want to make sure that uh, Bob understands the, the exact details and the situation that we're dealing with with heart marks, the fact that this is already in bankruptcy court. We're not saying, uh, Wells Fargo, we want you to lose money to get state money. Uh, we're saying the bankruptcy proceedings have already begun. Here is an opportunity to, to continue on a business is still a liquid. The uh, oh. <laughs> a new company is still going to take over. Uh, let's keep these jobs here. So we don't think it's undue influence. We're not trying to uh, make right. it like the Chinese system by any stretch of the imagination. All right, so this is I'm the sure the details one are important. Where our viewers will have a lot of thoughts, and we're going to continue this conversation. Thanks so much to both of you. We appreciate your taking the time. Thanks.